for the first time in three months to find an office full of GMD ones. What are you going to do about that? Well, nothing today because it's the weekend, but uh, how about I get you something by Tuesday? Is that okay? If there isn't something on my desk by Tuesday, there's going to be big trouble. There's absolutely no excuse for this. I'm appalled. You're the PR guy. Why aren't you selling our models? All right, all right, all right. I'll figure something out. You better. Okay. Don't make me social distance poke you again. I'll show her a social distance poking. I heard that. Jordan, what on earth are you doing here? Well, you said the other day you had a full day of meetings on Tuesday, so uh, I figured I'd uh, meet you here. Listen, Mr. President, you If Jason finds out about this, your is gonna be Okay, well, let's make a deal. You help me out with this N-Scale GMB1 video and no one will be the wiser. Okay, deal. All right, let's go do it. All right. How are we gonna do this shoot in the park? Ah, well, as CEO of the company, I've taken the liberty of setting us up a booth right under that tree over there. Aren't you something? Hey guys, I'm Jordan Smith, President and CEO of Rapido Trains, Inc., and I'm here with... Jordan, you know you're not really the President and CEO of Rapido Trains, right? That's what you'd like to think. By the way, this uh... is Janet Golfman, and she's... From Rapido Trains, Inc. You're right, you are. <laughs> And uh, today we're uh, looking at our N-Scale GMD-1s. This is a video that we probably should have done six months ago, but we forgot. So now we're here in the park. And we're really hoping to sell these beautiful little babies. And Jason told me that if 10,000 likes on this video, I'm going to the next train shop. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what she's been waiting for all year. <laughs> all right, let's do it. All right. Okay, Jordan, now that we've unpacked these, what have we got here? All right, uh, we've got six different paint schemes, uh, so uh, let's have a closer look. So starting from my end of the table here, um, first off, we've got the CN green and uh, yellow as delivered GMD ones right beside it. This is more of the 70s uh, version with the large noodle and the red cab. We've got the 90s repaints. This is in a modified version of the CN North America paint. Closer to Janet, we have the very unique Cuban exported GMD ones. These were former CN units that went to Cuba in the 90s, followed by the undecorated version. This is the undecorated rebuilt uh, uh, GMD one, and uh, as you can see right beside it, we have the painted version of the rebuilt GMD ones. Okay, so we have the CN and GMD one as delivered, and over here we've got the A1A trucks for light rail branch lines. We have the small fuel tank as delivered. We got the spark arresters and at the front we've got the etched metal grills here and here. So these are our 1100 uh, series GMD ones. This is the 1970s repaints with the red cab. Of course we've got, like Janet said, etched metal grills, spark arresters. Uh, some of the modifications on these they had uh, flexi coil trucks and also the larger fuel tank which makes them a little bit different. Um, and right beside that, this is a modified version of the CN North America paint scheme from the 1990s. These actually lasted in service into the early 2000s before they were sold off to short lines. And uh, also, we've included a parts package with all of these models. So, if you can see that there. We've got uh, the all-weather cab windows, we've got re-railers, and we've got a bunch of other cool little add-on features like the sandboxes, which uh, uh, you can add on there if you'd like. All right, uh, let's have a close look at our Cuban GMD ones. Here's an interesting fact, Jordan. Those Cuban locomotives have different trucks under them. All right, well, uh, why don't we have you uh, tell everybody about them? With pleasure. 
CN sold a group of GMD1s to Cuba in the 90s, and they made a number of changes, which we have included in our model, because that's just who we are. Most importantly, they swapped in a flexicoil truck at one end, while retaining the A1A truck on the other end. They also repainted these in the very unique blue, gray, and black paint scheme with striped side sills, and we've captured that beautifully. So finally here, we have the CN rebuilt GMD1s. These were redone uh, in the late 80s, early 90s by CN in-house uh, to give them another 10, 20, even 30 years of service. Uh, CN to this day actually still rosters a number of these engines and they're used across the country in uh, light switching service and in yards. Um, some of the details that they've uh, uh, changed, um, right off the front we've got the anti-climbers with uh, snow plows which we've included on both ends. They've swapped out the uh, spark arresters for a more standard exhaust stack. Um, of course, full handrails, the etched metal details. Underneath, these are the 1400 series, all of which have the two axle uh, flexi coil trucks. There were some uh, six axle uh, A1A truck uh, versions in the 1600 series, but those are all off the roster now. These also have the large rebuilt fuel tank. Uh, in case you're operating a short line or an industrial road, we've also made undecorated versions of these engines. CN sold these off in the, uh, in the 2000s, and uh, they're now found all across uh, the Canada, sorry, Canada and the U.S. in short line and industrial service, so you can paint up your favorite road. Uh, one other thing we've added to the rebuilt units is, uh, of course, the parts package, and this one's a little bit unique. Uh, in addition to the, uh, the all-weather cab windows and the re-railers, we've done the Kind of the plate that goes over the, uh, the the front radiator that's for uh, operating in the winter keeps the engine warm okay now that we've had a close look at the details on these beautiful models why don't we throw it over to jordan for a uh, dcc sound demonstration thanks jordan i'm here at the scarborough model railroad club in scarborough and uh i've got two of the gmd ones on uh, the layout here we've got uh, cn uh, stripes in the, uh, that's the rebuilt version, as well as the CN North America scheme in the 1100 series. So uh, let's get them started up. I've got uh, Mohan, uh, our friendly neighborhood COO, just off to my left here, and he's going to do all the uh, DCC functions. So uh, yeah, let's get them started up. That's on function eight. And this is an ESU uh, Next 18 sound decoder that we've installed in uh, all the sound equipped uh, locomotives. You hear that nice startup sound there. Of course, we've got the horn, the bell. All right, very nice. And uh, actually, if we can uh, roll them back a little bit, you'll be able to hear the brake squeal. Just start them up and... Uh... There we go. You hear that nice acceleration. and the synchronized brake squeal. That's a great feature we put into these. So we've moved to another part of the layout and uh, next we're going to turn on the headlight. So that's uh, the headlight function on your DCC system or a function zero. There we go. And of course if you're operating in DC uh, standard uh, analog mode the headlight will come on automatically as well. Next we've got the horn Doppler effect which simulates a train passing over a grade crossing. Activate this with function 5 for a very nice horn sound.
All right, so that's a quick look at our uh, DCC sound equipped N scale GMB ones here at the Scarborough Model Railroad Club. Now back to you, Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. That was a great demo. Uh, these engines are fantastic. So, Janet, what was your favorite version of the GMD1? Well, I guess Janet just wasn't interested in that model. Uh, I really hope there's something else that I can interest her in. What the heck is that? What's going on? <laughs> 